Google Workspace or G Suite has been amazing. It has Google Meet, Gmail and multiple other functionalities. But there are many other people who are using Microsoft 365 or Office 365 and they only prefer communicating with you over Microsoft Teams. So there are many Google Workspace users or G Suite users who want to integrate Microsoft Teams with G Suite or Google Workspace. Basically, they want to integrate Microsoft Teams with Google Calendar so that they can use their Microsoft Teams licenses in order to schedule a Teams meeting from Google Calendar. In this video, I will show you exactly how to do that and for free. If you have a work or school account with Microsoft 365 and it has the paid version of Microsoft Teams in it, you would be able to integrate Microsoft Teams with Google Calendar. And that's what I'm going to take you through in this video. So let's get started. So to do that, you simply need to log into your Gmail account. Now, if you are a super administrator, you can install this for your entire organization. But if you are not a super administrator, you can do this only for your individual account. And to do that, you simply need to go and click on the plus icon on the right side of your screen. And once the Google Workspace Marketplace loads, you need to search for Teams. You would find the Microsoft Teams meetings in the drop down below, but sometimes it doesn't pop up. Right, so you don't need to get worried. It may or may not pop up. Um, I don't know why, but uh, sometimes it doesn't come. So I'm putting the link for the Microsoft Teams add-on from the Google Workspace Marketplace in the description down below. So you can simply click on that and get access to the Microsoft Teams add-on on Google Workspace. So let's go there directly. So this is the link and you would be able to do a domain install or an individual install. So if you are not a super administrator, you would only be able to do a individual install. The Microsoft Teams add-on for Google Calendar is basically an add-on on the calendar wherein you can select the video conferencing tool while creating your calendar. You can keep it at Google Meet or you can toggle it to make it Microsoft Teams. So that's uh, something really interesting. Now I will do a domain install since I'm a super administrator on this account, but you can go ahead and do an individual install as well. So let's just click on the domain install button. Let's say continue. And then it's going to ask me for a couple of authorizations so that I can authorize and allow it for my organization. Let me enable this and I'll say allow. Now this is going to run a few activities in the background and it's going to connect Microsoft Teams with my Google Workspace account. Now simply say done. And this add-on has now been installed on my account on Google Workspace or formerly known as G Suite. So now let's just close this, go back into Gmail and uh, let's just refresh this page. Now because Gmail now has the Google Calendar toolbar or Google Calendar pane on the right side of the screen. You don't really have to go inside your calendars to schedule a meeting. You can directly schedule your meeting from the Gmail interface from here. So you go into calendars and now let's schedule a meeting and we should be able to see the Microsoft Teams add-on coming up on the event. Let's maybe schedule it for tomorrow and let's say 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. I think, yeah. I don't know why it doesn't come at three, but it doesn't matter. So let's click on add video conferencing. And here you would be able to see Microsoft Teams. Now, once you click on Microsoft Teams, it would ask you for your login information because you need to log in so that you can connect the Google Workspace account with your Microsoft 365 account so that the Teams integration is going to work seamlessly. So I'm just going to log in to my Microsoft Teams account. It's going to take you to a few pages. You simply need to type in your username and password. Let me do that very quickly. And once you sign in to your Microsoft 365 account, you can simply say stay signed in or uh, no, I will say yes, I would like to stay signed in. And then I simply need to wait 
for a few more seconds for the activities to run. Let's say success. Let's just wait for this to happen. Now, most of the times the screen automatically disappears, but if it doesn't, you can simply close it and uh, click on the try again button. The authorization has been done in the backend, so it should probably fetch it from there and it's done. Now, as you can see, the join Microsoft Teams has come in this particular event and you also have the meeting options. You can click on the meeting options. It'll take you to Microsoft Teams and it'll allow you to edit the meeting options, but that is not something you do on a regular basis. So you can skip that option. I'm just showing it to you so that you can understand what all you can do on the Microsoft Teams add-on on Google Calendar. So once this page opens up, you can update your meeting options so that it is uh, taken as default for your future meetings. So these are the meeting options available. So now let's go back into the calendar. And as you can see, this event has been created. Let's say demo event. And uh, 12th April is good, 2 p.m. to 3.05. Let's make it 3 p.m. Not sure why it doesn't give me 3 p.m. directly. So let's make it 3 p.m., right? And once I'm happy with the information I have put in the calendar event, I will simply say save and this event would be scheduled. Now, if I want to join that Teams meeting, I can simply go into my Google Calendar, click on the event, and I can click on join Microsoft Teams meeting and join my meeting from Microsoft Teams. It will ask you if you want to open the Microsoft Teams meeting in the desktop application. And if you say open Microsoft Teams, it would do that and it would run your call through the desktop version of Teams. That's over here. Very simple, very straightforward. And the integration between Microsoft Teams and Google Calendar is seamless. So I hope you like this video and it meets your requirement in connecting or integrating Microsoft Teams with your Google Workspace or G Suite accounts. Until the next one, stay safe, take care and have a nice one.